for everybody. And it's Thursday, March 18th. Uh, for those of you that are in the NCAA basketball tournament time, um, the Michigan State Spartans play at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. I don't know if I will make it to stay up all night, but we may, we may, you never know. Um, and the president, former President Obama has us, has us uh, he has selected us to go to the final four, which is always a bad thing. Because we never, you know, but you never know. We'll see if we get there. So I'm very excited tonight. Um, as many of you have probably heard and probably read, and probably seen, um, Kiwanis International has a new program out. It's called Kiwanis Amplify. And the Director of Leadership Development for Kiwanis International, Lindsay Weichel is here. Um, she's been with Kiwanis for a couple of years. Um, Lindsay, I will turn it over to you. I will record it, all the session. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. We will have an opportunity later to take some questions. Um, and Lindsay, I will, I will continue to admit people. So whenever you're ready to go, the floor is yours. Awesome. Well, hi everyone. I'm so excited to be joining you all this evening. Seeing a lot of faces from all over the Arcoanaverse. So that's exciting. Um, again, my name is Lindsay Weichel. I am the Director of Leadership Development for Kiwanis International. I've been on staff for three and a half years now. I spent the first two and a half years um, with Kiwanis as an Area Director for the Western United States and Canada. So I see some of my friends from the West here. So hello, hello. Um, <laughs> good to see some familiar faces from out West. Um, but about a year ago, I uh, took on the role of Director of Leadership Development, and in that role, I've had the privilege of working with several subcommittees of the International Board. And one of those subcommittees is the Visionary Leadership Committee. And that committee is made up of nine individuals. We've got Tony Gunn from Australia, who happens to be on that subcommittee with me. Um, so shout out to Tony and the rest of the, uh, the individuals on the Visionary Leadership Committee. Um, but we were tasked with creating a leadership development program for the general member. Many of you have probably participated in educational opportunities from Kiwanis International, whether that be club leadership education, whether that be lieutenant governor training, some of you maybe even governor-elect training, things like that. Uh, but all of those things are focused on positional leadership training. How can you become a better Kiwanis leader? How can you be the best club president that you can be or membership chair that you can be or lieutenant governor that you can be uh, versus how can you just be a great leader, whether that's within Kiwanis or at home, at work, in your communities. And so that is what uh, this specific committee was tasked with, was let's create something that is a professional development opportunity for our membership. And that is how Kiwanis Amplify was born. So just, I'm gonna share my screen with everybody because you know, me walking through my slides by myself probably isn't super fun for everyone else. So why, why, why did we think this was important? Why did we think that um, we needed this at this time? Uh, why did we wanna create this program? Well, again, we saw a void that we wanted to fill. Uh, another reason is to help strengthen the leadership pipeline. Now that might be a phrase that some of you have heard in the past. We wanna strengthen the Kiwanis leadership pipeline. Now, that might mean something to some of you, maybe not so much to others, but I pose you this question. How many of you are a part of Kiwanis clubs currently that struggle to find folks to step into some of those leadership roles from year to year? Yeah? Um, okay, how many of you have officers repeating some of those key leadership roles from year to year because no one else is stepping into those roles? Yes? Okay, I'm not the only one. All right. So a lot of times we also see governor's races going uncontested in a lot of districts, you know, so um, we want to see more people stepping into these roles. 
divisions are going without lieutenant and lieutenant governors and that is a struggle. So how do we get more folks to step into these roles? Well, membership is an obvious answer. Bring more people in, that will help us. And that's absolutely true, right? Bring more people in, there will be more people to fill those roles, absolutely. But I think the other piece to that question, a possible answer to that question is we need to provide training. We need to give folks the confidence to step into some of these roles. Uh, you know, some of these people that have not, don't see themselves as a leader necessarily, maybe if they went through a leadership development program, they would feel more comfortable stepping into a role um, at the club level. And then from there, increasing that level of leadership. So we really feel that Kiwanis Amplify can help us strengthen that leadership pipeline. Another thing that we see as a potential benefit of this program is membership retention. Uh, we all struggle, all of our clubs struggle with keeping our members engaged and keeping them with us, right? Um, so often we talk about closing the back door, um, making sure that our members stay with us and stay engaged. And we know from experience that Kiwanians who get involved beyond the club level, so folks who participate in programs just like this one, those who go to division council meetings or district conventions or mid-year and midwinter conferences or Kiwanis International Convention, they start building those relationships. They start seeing Kiwanis as something bigger than themselves, okay? Those are the folks that we retain at a much higher rate. Those are the Kiwanians that recognize exactly what they are a part of and want to continue on with our organization. They want to get more and more and more involved. Well, Kiwanis Amplify is going to give us a, a, a platform to help us introduce Kiwanians to others that they may not have had the opportunity to meet otherwise. They're gonna be learning alongside other Kiwanians from all over the world. And it, it's really going to open the door uh, for our membership to create those long lasting bonds that so many of you have already created with Kiwanis friends from all over. And, and so we definitely see retention benefits coming from this program as well. So who is Kiwanis Amplify for? Well, the simple answer is Kiwanis Amplify is for everyone, okay? If you're a lifelong learner, if you're someone who has a thirst for knowledge, this program is absolutely for you you will find nuggets of information that are completely new to you. And granted, if you have been in leadership roles, whether that be within Kiwanis or at work or what have you, there may be some, some familiar information as well. And we love that because that's gonna give you an opportunity to step in as a mentor or share your knowledge with some of those other Kiwanians that are going through this program and maybe thinking about taking on a leadership role for the very first time. So that's one thing that we love about this program is the mixture of experience levels that are gonna be sharing this experience together. There are a few groups of people that we think could be really great um, and could really strongly benefit from this program as well. Um, a couple of those groups include young professionals and graduating CKI members. So young professionals, obviously, because employers are really looking for ways to get their, especially their new and young employees, those professional development opportunities. This is a way to get that professional development opportunity at a very low cost in comparison to many of other programs across the globe. Um, and it's a, a networking opportunity. At the end of the day, they're going to have the opportunity to meet people in their field, potentially, from across the country or across the world that they can then connect with and share experience with and learn from, um, as well as alongside. So uh, young professionals definitely could benefit strongly from this. 
graduating CKI members. Now I do want to caution. We say graduating CKI members for a reason. Could key club members and other CKI members benefit from this program? Sure. Um, but our youth programs department has recently launched the Global Leadership Certification Program, and that is aimed specifically at our SLP audience. So our key club members are being asked to participate in that Global Leadership Certification Program. Uh, three modules, a pilot program is out now that they can, they can get that information now. Our CKI members um, will have access to that full-fledged full program in the near future. But for those that are graduating, they can participate in the pilot program, but they likely will not see that full blown global leadership certification program while they're still in school. So that's why we are inviting them to participate in Kiwanis Amplify. The only, the only rule is they have to be at least 18 years of age. We know we have some young college students who are prodigies and, uh, you know, super, super smart and got into college really young. Um, so they have to be at least 18 years old, but we do invite them to participate with us. Another group that we think that could really benefit from this is new Kiwanis members as well as new Kiwanis leaders. So new Kiwanis members for that retention piece that we talked about earlier, giving them an opportunity to engage with the organization right away, to benefit from the organization right away, and to build some of those relationships that they might not realize could possibly exist from their Kiwanis membership. Uh, new Kiwanis leaders for an obvious reason, they're going to get training on how to do their job, right? That's inevitable. We will provide that for them. But a lot of times, because there's so much to learn about whatever their role is within Kiwanis, we don't give them the opportunity to get those soft skills, those general leadership skills within those trainings sometimes. So this will be above and beyond that, that positional leadership training that we know that they're going to receive. But at the, again, at the end of the day, Kiwanis Amplify is a program for everyone. So what exactly is this program? What is Kiwanis Amplify? Well, it is eight virtual modules, okay? Eight online modules that we'll be releasing one per week for eight weeks, starting on April 19th. That is when the first module launches. Now, this is asynchronous learning. And what we mean by that is you have the opportunity to access this whenever it is convenient for you. You don't have to worry about signing onto your computer at a specific time, maybe at a time that's inconvenient for you. Um, you can move through the, through the program at your own pace. So if you get behind a little bit, you'll have time to go back and catch up. We're not going to cut off your access um, at any given time. You'll, you can go back and catch up as you go along. Um, within these eight modules, each module is broken into seven different segments or videos. Uh, those segments, and that means that 56 different topics are going to be covered over the course of eight weeks. Now that sounds like a lot and that might sound super overwhelming, <laughs> um, but we've made it as digestible as possible. We have made sure that you're not going to be spending hours upon hours sitting at your computer um, staring at the screen. Um, we know you all are attached to your computer enough as it is. We don't want to make this more overwhelming than it needs to be. So each of those segments are only going to be between five minutes long and 25 minutes long. So we estimate that you will spend at most between two and four hours per week going through this curriculum. Now that includes all seven videos for the week, as well as the supplemental materials that are accompanying those videos. So each video has at least one worksheet or set of reflection questions, a checklist, an activity, something that will help you process what you've learned from the videos, all right? Now, another thing that we're really excited about with this program is that we have hired 38 content experts to create this content for you. So this is not me, this is not Kiwanis International staff, this is not some of our 
highly valued Kiwanis VIPs that so many of you have heard from in the past. Um, these are outside voices that have created this curriculum for you all. These are people that have worked in their specific space, uh, in their specific topic area every day professionally. So um, we're excited about that. Now that doesn't, that's not meant to take away from any of the staff or any of our Kiwanis presenters. We know they're highly qualified folks. They're great trainers. Um, but we've heard a lot of them, their messages before. And so it's sometimes it's nice to just get an outside voice. And so uh, we're excited to bring you outside voices, diversified voices um, to provide you with this content. Now this program will be culminating in an interactive capstone experience. So what we mean by that is uh, this program will uh, have an in-person component that will be available at the Education and Leadership Conference in Salt Lake City. Now, that being said, we will also be offering the same content virtually because we know not everyone's going to be able to travel. We know not everyone's going to feel comfortable traveling. So we want to make sure that this program is able to culminate for everyone, that everyone's able to get that experience as well. So what that's going to look like is a half day training, live instruction, uh, that will walk you through uh, a thing called Clifton Strengths Finder. Uh, I don't know, some of you may have heard of that. Uh, it's a Gallup program. Um, and basically it's an assessment that you have, will have access to. You'll go through, you'll find your top five strengths um, and we'll walk you through what that means and then help you apply those those strengths of yours, those personal strengths that are unique to you, to the eight weeks of curriculum that you have walked through virtually. Okay, how to infuse those strengths and use those strengths to amplify what you've learned over the course of eight weeks. And that will not be someone talking at you for four and a half hours, it will be activities and really applying what you've learned through uh, working with your fellow Kiwanis Amplify participants as you walk through um, all the various activities to apply what you've learned. So that's what we mean by interactive. Now, some of you may be saying, okay, you said that most of this program is online how are we supposed to meet people if, uh, you know, if we can walk through it on our own pace and it's not live, like something like this? Well, we're going to be offering discussion boards. And that is one way in which you will have the opportunity to interact with one another. That way it doesn't require a social media account. It's attached to our learning management system. So as you're in there, we'll post discussion questions each week. You will have a, a, a small group or what we're calling a cohort that you'll be assigned to. So it won't be a huge group of 300 and some participants. It will be a group of 50 or less that you're assigned to. Um, and you'll answer the questions. You'll talk about what you're learning, how you hope to use it, um, and, and start building those relationships there. We are also um, putting folks into a private Facebook group where relationships are already starting to form. People are starting to get to know one another, things like that. So. Uh, and we also see this as uh, an alumni program. So once you become a, an AMP grad, as our committee is starting to call it, <laughs> uh, once you've completed the program and you get that certificate of completion, you will forever be a Kiwanis Amplify graduate or alumni. And we will continue to host alumni events at future international conventions and things like that, continue to have opportunities for you all to connect and continue to build those relationships. So some important dates that we wanna point out to you, April 1st, which is coming up here in just two weeks, that is the registration deadline. We will not be able to take any more registrations after that date. So if this is something that you're interested in participating in and you haven't signed up yet, you will need to register before April or before or on April 1st. April 19th is when that first module will launch and we will launch one module 
per week on that Monday of every week for eight weeks. June 7th is when the final and eighth module will launch. Then we will host an in-person capstone experience at that education and leadership conference in Salt Lake City. Right now, we are slated to host one of those programs on Wednesday afternoon, which is the 23rd. Um, so if you arrive Wednesday morning in Salt Lake City, you would have the opportunity to participate in that. I'm hoping the start time can be 1 p.m. That's what I'm shooting for. Uh, don't, uh, that is subject to change because the, they're still working out the schedule on everything, but um, that is my hope. If we have a significant amount of people who plan to participate in this in person, we will open up additional sessions um, that we will sprinkle throughout the weekend. So um, stay tuned for that. Obviously, first come, first serve. Once we hit 50 people that want to participate in that Wednesday afternoon session, we will um, move on and open up a different session, but it will be different timing. So um, keep that in mind if you are wanting to participate in person. We will be hosting the virtual capstone experience that week after July 4th. So the 5th through the 11th, not all week, just we'll sprinkle a number of different times to try to make it convenient for various people um, so that everyone has the opportunity to fully complete the program. So who are these content experts that we have hired to come in? Well, we've got a nice variety of folks. We've got some professional speakers and award-winning authors. We've got some former SLP members. We've got an American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> We've got some business owners, some educators. We've got the killer pitch master, Precious Williams. And we do have a few Kiwanians sprinkled in there for good measure as well. But I guarantee you that these are Kiwanians that you are likely not to have heard from before. Um, these are, again, experts in their field, and we're really excited to share some of these folks with you um, as we move forward. Their pictures, just for an FYI, are some of the people that you're seeing on the screen <laughs> as we go through this presentation. So um, you will likely see some familiar faces as you go through the program. So what will you be learning as you walk through Kiwanis Amplify? Well, the eight topics that we will be covering, the eight overarching topics of these modules are up on the screen now. However, I told you about the 56 different topics that we will be covering overall. If you go to our website, which is kiwanis.org slash amplify, and I'll have that up on the screen at the end here, um, you click on one of these topics or one of these modules, you can see all seven topics that will be covered during that week. Program abstracts for each one, so you can read a little bit more about what exactly they're going to be talking about, as well as some uh, promotional videos that some of our content experts have provided. Not every, not every program has a promotional video, but there are quite a few sprinkled in. So uh, speaking of, promotional videos, I'm going to show you one of those right now. Let's make sure the volume's up. Hello, I'm Christy Kennedy. I'm excited to teach you how to communicate with confidence. One of the number one fears in the world is glossophobia, a fear of public speaking. And listen, I have been on the other side of that fear. What I want you to understand is when you speak, if you learn how to speak from your heart, what comes from the heart goes to the heart. And if you can move yourself, you can move the masses. There are so many elements to effective communication and together we will learn key strategies on how to help you overcome the anxiety that you're currently feeling. I remember listening to a speaker once and they said, this is a simple formula to follow in any environment. Say what you're going to say, say it, and say what you said. Keep it simple. One, two, three. <laughs> that will help you focus in on your thoughts and what you want to communicate and stay clear and concise. Speak with conviction. Speak with compassion, knowing that you got this. And I'm going to see you in class. See all the courses, enroll, or recommend someone for Kiwanis Amplify today. Visit kiwanis.org slash amplify. All right. So there are quite a few 
of those promotional videos available on the website. Uh, Christy's got a couple herself, so we were really excited to have some of those being made. Um, so time to talk about investment. Um, there is a cost of this program and the committee went back and forth on this. Um, we really wanted to make sure that this program was seen as a number benefit, um, but at the same time, we knew it was going to cost money to create the program and how were we going to cover those costs without, um, you know, it affecting dues money or something like that. So we did decide on $200 per person for, to participate in this program. Now we know that $200 is not a small amount of money. However, uh, we do feel that it's a strong value for what's being offered in terms of eight weeks of training, um, something that would likely cost thousands of dollars in the business world. Um, so a fairly reasonable price for uh, what you're getting in return. Now, one thing that we do wanna make sure is clear is that um, service funds from your club can be used to, part, to pay for participation in this program because it is exclusively educational in nature. Um, you are eligible to use service funds from your club or from your district to participate in this program. A number of clubs, divisions, and districts have offered to sponsor full or partial participation in the program. Uh, we've also had employers step up and offer to pay for their uh, Kiwanis member employees to go through this program because again, this is not Kiwanis training. This is professional development training. And um, so it is absolutely something that an employer could be willing to pay for. We are offering an incentive uh, for districts who register a number of people. So any district who registered six or more people will receive a $200 rebate for every six people that register from that district. So a district which registers six, they get $200 back. If the district registers 12, they get $400 back, so on and so forth. Now, how the district chooses to use those, that, those rebate dollars is up to them. Um, if your club, for instance, wants to sponsor six people, I would contact your district office and say, hey, we earned that $200 rebate. Can we have that back? And likely they would be willing to do that for you. Um, so keep that in mind as you're mulling around options of how to, uh, how to sponsor folks to go through this program. So hopefully some of you are sitting there saying, this sounds awesome, sign me up, I'm ready. How do I register? And uh, registration is very easy. It's all done online. So if you go to our website, again, kiwanis.org slash amplify, you can find a register now button. On the screen, you see an enroll now button that's been changed to register now, now that registration is open. Um, fill out a very short form, pay by credit card, boom, you're signed up, ready to go. Um, maybe some of you are saying, this program sounds amazing. I love it. I don't know that it's for me, but I would like to support it. How can I help make this program a thing um, moving forward in the future? Because we do see this program existing in our Kiwanis future. So there are several ways in which you can be helpful. Number one, if you know someone that would be a great fit for this program, um, you can recommend them again through our website. So kiwanis.org slash amplify, click the re recommend a member button, fill out a brief form, and we will send them an email with all the program information, letting them know that an honored Kiwanian has recommended them for the program and that they, we think they'd be a great fit. Another way in which you can be helpful is simply by sharing information about the program. So uh, going to, we have a Promote Kiwanis Amplify box on our website that has all kinds of goodies in it for you. Um, so it, we've got a, uh, a promotional video that you can download and share. We've got a sample newsletter that can be customized and used for your club, division, or district. We've got a flyer that can be downloaded and printed or shared. Uh, 
graphics, you name it, it's all there available for you and ready to uh, help us get the word out about this program. We also, um, if you follow the Kiwanis International Facebook page or Instagram page, we're regularly sharing information on those. Anytime that you can like that, share that, comment on that, more people are going to see it. So we appreciate any support that you are able to give us on social media as well. So again, here's some of the basic uh, information, the website, as well as the Kiwanis Amplify email. So I'm going to be taking a number of questions this evening, but after the fact, if you think of something that you didn't get a chance to ask, feel free to send me an email and uh, we, will, we will get that answered for you. So I am going to stop my screen share here. We've got a lot of things in the chat. So let me go through here and see. So, so Lindsay, how are, how are your numbers looking right now? How are your, I, do you have a maximum? So, I mean, I realize people have till April 1st, the end of April Fool's Day, but um, what, yeah, you know, let's, let's make sure we get everybody that wants to register registered. So when should they do it besides ASAP? Absolutely. So we are at 270 registrants as of today, which is super exciting because our minimum goal was 300 when we when we started this pro process. So um, we are at 270 right now with two weeks left to register. So woohoo. That's great. Um, we do not have a maximum number. We can take as many as like would like to participate because it's you know, it's all virtual for the most part. Uh, the only thing that we will have a capacity on is that in-person capstone experience. So if you want to participate in Salt Lake City in person, those who register first will have first dibs on that. So, you know, by all means, if you want to participate in that, get yourself registered, make sure that uh, you send me a note letting me know that you want to participate in person and I will get you signed up for that as well. Um, so are you seeing, I mean, you, you may not be able to tell, but are you seeing a wide variety of members sign up um, as far as like, you know, experienced we, members versus younger members versus? It really is. Um, we, I have been keeping track of who all is registering. We see everyone from, you know, past Kiwanis International presidents and trustees through folks who have absolutely no leadership experience in Kiwanis at all. And those, uh, we're actually getting to be about even uh, with those who have experience beyond the club level versus um, experience at the club level or no experience at all. Um, so that's really exciting. It's a really nice mixture uh, and we have, well, let me pull this up here for a second. I want to give you accurate data. We have at least one person registered from 33 districts. So we're really excited to see the nice variety of folks who are participating. Um, and so that's exciting too, because we are going to be mixing people up in these cohorts or these small groups. It's not going to be you with all of the same folks that you know from your district. We're gonna divide everybody up so that you have the opportunity to meet new people, um, meet people of different experience levels from you. We'll, we'll make sure that we mix that up as well. So we're very excited about that. So as I understand, there will be, um, there's the, the, the number of different sessions um, and there will be some homework, correct? Mm -hmm. That people mm -hmm. will work on. Mm -hmm. yes. so, so there are opportunities to, to learn and within, within their group, right? As you say, is within their cohort, there'll be plenty yes. of opportunities to, to have those uh, discussion groups, so, so to say. Absolutely, yeah. There's definitely opportunities to learn. Uh, one thing that we wanna make sure that we, point out is that you can apply this in any facet of your life. So if you, you know, if Kiwanis is your main focus at this point, 
this is 100% applicable to anything that you might be doing in your Kiwanis Club division, district, or beyond. That said, if you're a working professional and you're looking to move up the, the chain or maybe looking to get a promotion, again, you can apply this, what you're learning in your, in your workspace. You can apply it with your kids or your grandkids at home. Mm -hmm. uh, you can apply it in anything else that you might be involved with within your community, your, your uh, place of worship or um, any other organizations that you might be a part of. So this is applicable everywhere. And we're really excited to see some of the conversations that come out of this on how folks are choosing to apply what they're learning. Right. So Danico has a question, will there be evaluations? And yes, Okay. yes, and we're very excited about that. And um, bear with us, because we're gonna be evaluating every step of the way. We are going to do a, a pre-test and a post-test um, to kind of see where everybody's at with some of these different topics as we go in and then reassess at the end and see where everybody's at when we finish. We're also going to be assessing each individual module so that everything's fresh in your mind when you finish it that week. And you know, you can tell us what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you learned, what you found most valuable, and we can take that to heart. Um, the good thing about the way that we've set up this program is if, if something falls flat, um, you know, if a session doesn't go well, nobody likes it, they didn't find value in it, cool, we can remove it. And next year we'll replace it with something else. Um, on the flip side, if somebody really hits a home run and we really loved what that presenter did, then maybe we can ask them to provide a few more modules in the future mm -hmm. uh, or a few more segments in the future so that uh, we can hear a little bit more from them. So we're really excited about that. Tony, you want to chime in there? If I put my microphone on, yes. Uh, I read that question slightly different from your answer. Uh, yes, we'll be evaluating every process, but is that question, are there going to be tests and exams? Um, awesome. Daniqua, if you want to, if you want to um, unmute yourself, you can ask the question or explain what your, you, what your question was. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, it was, it was about tests and exams, but you, 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 I know there's usually an ending to find out if the, what's working and what's not, but of course the tests and evaluations of what you've learned, that's what it was. Thank you. Yes. So it's going to, we're going to focus much more on um, what you've learned overall, uh, where you started and where you ended up. We are not going to quiz you. Um, this is not meant to be a classroom experience necessarily. So um, we're not going to put the pressure on you of something that you have to study for. Um, you know, obviously we want you to pay attention and we want you to gain as much from this as you, as you want, but we're all adults here, right? Um, and we know that everybody's making an investment in this. Um, and so, you know, if you choose to invest in this and, uh, you know, only partially pay attention, then, then that's your, your choice. Um, but at the end of the day, we're not, we're not going to quiz, quiz you at every turn. Um, to make sure that you got out of it um, every every little detail. But at the end of the day, we want to know that you've moved on the spectrum. You started here, and by the end of it, you were here. Um, and you know you you've seen growth from the program, and that that's what ultimately what we want to see from that. What do you hope will happen after Salt Lake City? So for those people who can attend Salt Lake City or even those who participate in their virtual experience the week in July, what are the plans? Are there any plans for continuing sessions or cohort discussion or um, what do you think? Oh, yeah. I mean, if we if we were in an ideal setting um, in terms of, you know, no COVID-19 restrictions and, and we didn't have so many worries about people being allowed to travel, the ideal format would be to group you in that capstone experience with the exact same folks that were in your cohort to begin with. So you talked through eight weeks of this program with the same people, and then you went through that capstone experience with the same, uh, with the same people that you started, that you went through the eight weeks with. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be entirely possible uh, with the with the challenges that we're being thrown at this point, but we'll do our best. Um, 
we really want to see those relationships form from this program as well. That's really important to us. And that's a huge part of this experience. So, um, you know, we, we definitely want to see that come to fruition. Great. Greg has a question for you. Yeah, Lindsay, you, you said earlier that uh, when you start the program, you're here. And then by the end, you're over here. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go back to your club, your club is still right where it was at. And you're <laughs> yeah. in a different spot. So is part of the program going to be some some training or tools on how to how to address that situation. You come back full of energy and your club doesn't receive whatever it is very well or want to act on anything. Absolutely. I think that uh, part of part of this is how do you meet your members where they're at and help them move along the spectrum as well, um, even without going through this full training. So there will definitely be tools that you can take back to your club and use um, that might help move your members along. Um, there will definitely be things that um, you can share with other leaders to say, okay, hey, you know, um, I'm not the PR chair, but I sat through this really great marketing thing. And you know what she said? She said that we should do this. I think, you know, this part would really help our club if we did this. So there are definitely tools that can be used um, and shared within the club. Now, um, you know, we're, we're definitely not promoting you uh, sharing every single video, uh, you know, with all your club members and things like that. Um, it'll be a single sign on and all that kind of stuff um, for, for participants, but, um, but there will be takeaways that you can take back to your club and infuse within your club um, to help move them forward, even with folks that maybe aren't super interested in going through the full full experience. Wonderful. So any anybody can get online and go to kiwanis.org backslash amplify and sign up or slash it's, I don't know, whichever one that is, um, can go sign up for the program on their own. There's nobody needs to approve it. Um, if, if you pay for it or your, your office pays for it or your club pays for it, it doesn't matter. I um, mean, as, as Lindsay said, you can take this out of your service funds um, as well. And, you know, those, that opportunity is there for you so that, you know, you don't need approval, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You just sign up if you wish to sign up. Um, that's what's, what's important for you to do. Um, so let's say that I, I know some districts have talked about um, sponsoring individuals to go um, to programs. Have you heard any of that type of activity? I'm sorry, Sue, say that one more time. Um, have, there, have you heard any um, information from districts that may be sponsoring participants or have you? Oh, yes. Yeah, we have districts that um, some are sponsoring six or 12 folks in full. Uh, some are saying first come, first serve. Some are having their own application process. You apply through the district and they select who gets the scholarships. Um, some districts are choosing to specific officers. Uh, you know, incoming lieutenant governors is a big one um, that some districts are doing. Incoming lieutenant governors um, go through that and the district will sponsor you. Um, I think Wisconsin Upper Michigan is doing something really cool where they're asking their in, incoming lieutenant governors to go through the program and they will pay for it. And then they're asking them to select one person from their division mm. who they see as a, an up and coming leader to also go through the program and the district is sponsoring them as well. So that's really cool. I think that's a really smart way of utilizing this to kind of de help develop that leadership pipeline like we were talking about before. Um, we also have some districts that are um, sponsoring partial like Missouri Arkansas is doing a half sponsorship for 24 people. So first 24 people that sign up, they're, they're uh, paying $100 of their, uh, their fees, which is awesome. Some are waiting until the program is fully completed um, and they have confirmation that folks have successfully completed the program, they've earned their certificate and then they are reimbursing people. So um, we're seeing it come from all different directions, lots of different ideas, very uh, creative. Um, so we're, we're excited about that too. We're excited to see that many um, folks uh, sponsoring. 
I did get a couple questions that were private message to me. I don't know if I have time to go for it. Yep. You've got time. Um, so I'm trying to go through all of these, but one was, can we fast forward through the modules? Can we, if, you know, if we want to sit through and knock this out, can we, um, unfortunately, no, uh, we are going to release them every Monday, um, for eight weeks. So, um, you know, if you want to speed through each one on Monday and get it done, that's great. Um, but the module, the next module will not unlock until you complete the, the first one. Uh, you know, you finish one, then the next one will unlock or on that next Monday, whatever happens first, if that makes sense. Um, and those do begin on April 19th. Oh my goodness. All the direct messages. Okay. Oh my goodness. See, normally they throw them in the, if anybody has a question <laughs> they want to ask otherwise. So let me ask this question while you're going through them. Um, sure. When do you expect, so let's say we get through this program. When do you expect it, it'll be offered the next time? Well, right now we are looking at an, uh, an annual schedule. So we don't anticipate that this will be offered again until next spring. Okay. Uh, we are looking at potential options at offering it more frequently than that. But we do love the idea of that in-person connection opportunity. Again, mm -hmm. we know not everybody's probably going to be able to do that. So we'll always offer a virtual option. But uh, we do really love that opportunity to connect in person. So. Um, We've talked about other options uh, in the fall of maybe, hey, we could do it this way or that way. Uh, but for now, we're planning on offering it annually. Um, we are also, again, looking to the future, looking at tracked content options. We're looking at uh, bonus content for those who've completed the program already, um, things like that. So again, you can continue your learning. Uh, once you go through the program, it's not, that's not it. That's not one and done. Uh, there will be other opportunities to engage in the future as well and continue your learning. Uh, there's a question about, will we offer it to non-Kiwanis members? That's definitely on our radar. Uh, right now, we wanted our members to have first dibs. We wanted our members to have the first opportunity to participate, but we do see that this could be a value to members of our communities. And this could be another way that we serve our communities by offering this type of content to some of the partners that we work with regularly or um, as a way, as a recruitment tool. Hey, come participate in this program. You like it? This is what Kiwanis is. This is what Kiwanis does. Maybe you should join our pro, our our club. Um, so we're we're excited about that as well. And uh, someone asked what time of day these will occur. So these programs, you actually do it on your own time frame. Yes. So you you know just like we have this session. If you want to log on at 10 o'clock in the morning, you can log on at 10 o'clock in the morning. If you want to log on at 10 o'clock at night, um, that's your choice. Um, so asynchronous means that you can get in and out of the program. And if you want to do it at three o'clock in the morning, go for it. No one's going to stop you. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, and again, we will estimate that about two to four hours per week will be spent going through, going through each module. So um, not a ton of time spent in front of your computer in the grand scheme of things, right? right. For uh, for that much content, so we're we're we tried to keep it as as manageable as possible as you are moving through. Wonderful. Any other questions? That, I mean, Lindsay, I know I'm sure you got a lot of other questions, but anything else that you can answer to share? Trying to go through here. Um, if I missed any questions, please speak up. Uh, right. <laughs> there's a lot of things in the chat here. <laughs> well, you, you mentioned about Salt Lake City in, in person. Did you have a number as to how many people that you'd be able to accommodate for, for this? Um, because I know the convention, the, the conference itself can accommodate lots and lots of people. I just didn't yes. know how to amplify. Yes, um, we are not limited overall in conference attendance but we will likely cap each session at 50 people. We wanna keep this manageable and we wanna keep it somewhat intimate so that again, folks can really have the opportunity to meet people and build those relationships. Uh, if we get much more than 50 people, the interaction 
uh, level really goes down um, and it becomes a lot more difficult to manage um, to keep activities flowing well. So we will likely cap each session at 50 people. But again, we have we do have the ability to add more sessions. So we we have said that we will not go above 300 people for these sessions. So that would mean six sessions throughout the the convention dates and not all those times are going to be super convenient unfortunately so um do keep that in mind that's why i'm saying register soon um and let us know your intentions so that we can uh get you signed up for something that's going to be convenient for you okay so let me just clear so you're saying that there's there's going to be multiple capstone events that, that may not, some of them may not be on wednesday some maybe other days uh, of the week there yes because okay. there there's only one me so, <laughs> okay. right. yes. okay. so uh, they will not run concurrently. They will run one at a time. Um, and uh, yes, so some of, we may add one on Wednesday morning, which would mean some people would need to come in Tuesday night. We may add one on Sunday morning, which would mean people could leave then Sunday afternoon and still fly home that day. Um, and then from there, th that's our, those are our two target add-ons and then from there we would add them in between um to but we still want to make sure that we're not completely overlapping other things that people are going to be wanting to attend so okay other questions anybody have any other questions and i know that everybody has Lindsay's email address um Qantas amplify at kiwanis.org we'll get her directly those questions and I am happy to stick around um, if there are any additional questions that didn't get answered, um, if people um, have extra time. So there's so. What, there was one question that was asked earlier, and um, if you can address this fine, if not, we'll get the answer. But the question was raised about positional training that's going to happen this year. Sure. And I'm uh, guessing- At the educational conference? Yeah, whether educational so we, conference or online. Okay, so there will be uh, virtual positional training that is happening. We are not offering any pre-convention, typical pre-convention training. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times district officer training is held um, at on that Wednesday. We are not holding anything on Wednesday aside from the board meeting that typically happens as well as the Kiwanis Amplify training. So um, if you were worried that this might overlap with positional training, you don't have to worry about that. Um, chances are there will be some education sp sessions sprinkled in at this conference that would be applicable to your position, um, but there is not going to be a half day training focused on club presidents, for example. Um, a lot of that training is going to be taking place virtually just because we are not sure how many people will actually be able to attend in person and we wanna be accommodating to that. Perfect. Okay, so I am going to, I got a couple, I also have a couple direct emails here I wanna answer, um, but I am going to stop the recording. So, and as everyone knows, they can um, ask questions or whatever, we'll hang out, but I'll stop the recording. Thank everyone for being with us tonight on, Thursday, March 18th. I will put this recording up on the Qantas of Michigan website. Uh, we'll post it on the, the access on the Facebook page. It will be put on our Kiwanis YouTube. So if you missed something tonight or somebody wasn't able to be with us tonight, feel free to, to pass this. We'll, we'll get the link, put the link out there for everybody to see. Um, great opportunity for you to learn more about the Kiwanis Amplify program and you know, learn about the leadership opportunities that Kiwanis is offering, not only for you within your own district or your, in your own club, but also in your personal and professional life. So thank you, Lindsay, for being with us this evening. We appreciate um, the work that you're doing. We will see everyone else next Thursday evening at 8 p.m. Um, for our next Kiwanis Let's Talk, which, and I made some notes to make sure we get the, the reminders out early enough that they work this time. But on March 25th, we have Cole Freyer who will talk about generations. So um, we will talk about that information then. But in the meantime, thanks everybody for being with us. Uh, we will stop recording and, and